Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 4. All right, uh the previous episode. In the previous episode we uh, got to see Shinso who is trying to get into the hero course and there'll be a little combat training in which Shinso will participate in both the teams and like you know because of the odd number of like you know teammates and everything. So the first uh, match, it is like uh, Shinjo, uh, Shinso is with uh, 1A, you know, she, like he is with Suyu's team uh, and like it turned out that it went pretty like, you know, bad in a way because like m almost like most of the like uh, the other team had a lot of better strategy and they kind of like, you know, jumped right into it. But Shinso was able to stop one of them uh, by using his quirk and like there was like a real twist to his quirk which he used to you know kind of mimic the other person's voice and that's how like he was able to trick the other guy and like hypnotize him in that way but in my opinion it's like a one-time thing you know because as soon as the enemy kind of understands how it goes he'll be a lot more like ready for it so like it's quite difficult to use this quirk but if it is like used properly it's quite powerful so now let's see how he does, like how he manages to fight after this, you know, because the enemy now knows that he can do stuff like this. So let's see what he does next. And I'm also looking forward to uh, the fight between uh, Deku's team and uh, Shinso's team as well, which uh, will, I don't know, which will happen in this episode or the next episode. Let's just wait for it. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started with episode number four of My Hero Academia season five. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, it's a little recap. Bakugo's like Bakugo needs more clothing because he needs to sweat you know and it's winter here so that's difficult you know to sweat during winter <laughs> everyone has their own pose you, you can see like you know <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they like underestimated the enemy. All right, let's see. All right. So I'm guessing the first part of this season will be like, you know, this whole combat thing only because the opening kind of shows that only, you know, like we can see Shinso and the other team members and all plus one B as well. There it is, there's a class B. Now, I know this is like, I think this is 24 episodes this season has. So I'm guessing the first part of the episode will be kind of focusing on this. And like the whole, like, you know, how to use your power thing for Shinso and also Deku as well, I'm guessing. Like, you know, Deku might find some new way to attack or something. Or maybe, and maybe something about Endeavor, you know, because Endeavor has been, okay, let's see. 
Okay, he's giving a quick, like, you know. What was my turn? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so it's not like anyone who talks to him gets brainwashed. That's not it. Okay. Okay. Alright, alright. So only one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Persona codes. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. It changes his file. Hmm. But still, like, it will only work for the first time, you know? Like, as soon as... Uh, and it's only work one-on-one. -on -one. Like, if there's two or three members, like, you know, in the enemy, it probably won't work as easily. Ah, there it is. Here you go, like, he gets tricked here, and he gets hypnotized. Now the other guy will be on guard. You know? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Make it happen, Shinso. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, this will be a problem. His voice will not go out. Okay. Oh. Whoa, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Yep. That little distraction is what they needed. Oh, damn. Okay, so you got him. him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He is still electro electrocuted. He's still going. Damn, like... Tough. That's him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kirishama is there. Yeah, he is pretty tough. He can do it. Oh. Oh. Okay. There you go. Now. Yeah. Okay, stop him. Ultimate defense. Oh my god, he's gone. Oh. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, that's quite, like, you know. Interesting. Oh boy. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, he flung him away. Damn. Oh no. <laughs> Poor sheep is falling from the sky. Oh my god, captured. Oh my god. 
Yeah, but... Yeah, like, I don't think so. Like, he's captured Denki. Will Denki be able to do... Damn, these guys are like... Oh. Yeah, he cannot call his like, you know, for animal friends. Oh, damn. This is bad. Oh god. This is bad. <sighs> Come on. Okay, they broke it. Oh no, this is bad. Damn. Damn. <laughs> he is proud. <laughs> Bias commentary. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. He needs some backup, you know. Yeah, and the teamwork factor is also a big thing. Because they're not used to it. Yeah, like, even though, like, you know, we had, um, Kirishima. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what a sinful act. <laughs> I was with you, what? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, is is she using like you know someone else as a decoy? Three. Oh okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So that's what they're doing. Hmm. Yeah, she can Oh. Hmm. No, it's like the smell, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it must be the smell. Bit out my stomach. Oh, okay, okay.
Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> He always uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. No one can like, you know, go against that strength. Like Denki's electricity also kind of was not effective. Damn, this girl. Whoa, what's with the names? <laughs> Apocalypse Beat. They're perfect as a scouting party, you know, like the smell and everything. Oh, <laughs> she's calling him Apocalypse Bit. <laughs> Devil then. Mm. Oh, oh no, oh no, he noticed it. Oh god. Oh great, he noticed it. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, if it is Denki, then... Oh, there you go! Now... They'll all be electrocuted. Oh! Oh! Damn, this girl is pretty strong. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh God, this is getting messy. Scales. And can shoot it up. Oh, act as an armor as well. Oh no, they got Denki as well. What? Oh! <laughs> Amazing, come on, now's the chance. <laughs> this is amazing, he's using his voice very well. Oh! Okay, so that was part of the plan. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay, now there's two of them. Come on. Now what will they do? Like... Neither Sue is a big fighter, nor is... What the? What? What happened to him? Okay, well... Too late. <laughs> What's he doing?
Oh, damn! Okay. Why is he just going towards Chicho? He could have like stopped Suyu before, like you know, two versus one. The, he could have done it. Okay. Okay, now what will you do? Oh, oh, so that's what the bandages were for. <laughs> okay, will that work? No. Yeah, he's strong. Now what? This is the original one, I think. Too late. Well... Too late. <laughs> it's like the boy who cried wolf, but it's the reverse here, you know? <laughs> like the boy who cried wolf here won. Or not. Um, no, he... Okay, <laughs> Any, anyways. That was really good, I have to say, the strategy and all. Yeah. That's how they like, you know, made them doubt the voice. <laughs> okay. <coughs> hmm. Okay. So the next episode will be, I'm guessing, Deku versus Shinso. And that <laughs> she's still stunned. <laughs> Please forgive this foolish sheep. <laughs> okay. Mm. Damn, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. So Shinsa already has one point, you know? So, yeah. I'm guessing Shinso's point will be uh, calculated individually because, you know, he's technically like a one man, like, you know, he's not a part of either class. So, I think that's how it's going to do. Like, you know, the points that the A team and the B team will like have their own point system and Shinso will have his own point system. And I'm not sure what they're going to do, like, you know, if, like, you know, Shinso already won, like, one match. So, even if he loses the next match, He'll have one, like, you know, point. So, I'm not sure how they're going to, like, and if he wins the next match, he'll have two points. So, I'm guessing then, like, he's definitely getting into the hero course. Now, there's another question I have. If he gets into the hero course, will there anyone be who will be, you know, rejected from the hero course? Because, you know, one person is getting in. So, does it make it that, you like, one person will have to get out? Or they're going to, like, you know, only add? 
not take anyone out. I'm guessing they're only going to add, not like, you know, remove someone because they did not mention anything about that. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's pro probably it, you know? Like they're just going to add him. Like they won't take anyone out of the hero course. All right. Okay, that's the end. Wow, that was really good, you know? Like the way they use the strategy and all. And <clears throat> now I was thinking like uh, only having one, you know, like one quirk, especially a quirk like this, which will make you you know like make the enemy kind of uh vigilant after someone else gets uh like you know victimized by that quirk it'll make the quirk useless after one use you know so like if there's like four like you know four villains and he himself is like the only one um even if he's able to trick one he won't be able to trick the other three so the others will be extremely vigilant and like what will he do then so like I was thinking like how was he going to do this so like in my opinion Shinso's uh, power can be used extremely well if he is in a team you know like as like as they said like they did not strategize well because they had <coughs> Kirishima with them you know they had Kirishima with them Kirishima is the person who like you know he, he's pretty damn strong you know like from season 4 we know that so why did they defeat like why did the other team defeat them so easily because they were not ready for it as they were saying like it, it took a little bit of difficulty for them to understand what actually Shinso's quirk is and because they have not worked together before they were you know pro like unable to strategize properly with like uh him because you know there's like another quirk that gets into their whole team so like Ad, like adding that quirk adding the brainwashing quirk they were unable to make a strategy it's because obviously like they have not worked together now <clears throat> that was the problem here so even though they had a lot of effort like you know a lot of strength they were unable to do anything because the other team was quicker and the other team was like you know able to strategize better and like quickly launch an attack whereas at the same time they were like they had to understand what actually Shinso's quirk was like like Shinso was like explaining to them you know and like a lot of things that uh, we also do not know like did I think they never mentioned it before the whole thing with uh, you know like Shinso saying that I need to direct my um, like attention towards one person so that uh, like that will also the brainwashing will only work then now that I think about it <coughs> this is quite necessary because you know like that will mean that if like if this thing this limitation was not there whatever people he talked with if they answered to him they would get brainwashed so like he won't be able to talk with anyone so like this is like a limitation which is really handy because of that uh, so like he needs to co properly concentrate towards one person and like you know and then ask them a question and if he answers then it will be like uh like you know he'll be brainwashed he or she will be brainwashed you know what this reminds me this reminds me of death note <laughs> i know i made weird like you know comparisons a uh, death note as if to like the whole light's ability of writing the name you know like you need to know the name you need to direct your attention to that person and everything and then will the like you know power work that kind of thing <laughs> i know this is weird like i make weird comparisons with other animes but anyways so yeah that's like shinso's power and that is something new that we uh, like you know got to know so similarly like that is also another thing that the other person like you know his uh, new teammates had to understand properly before they can do anything uh, so that's why like they were unable to strategize properly and yeah and i'm sure like you know like uh, shinso also knew like you know uh, understood a lot of things about his own power because he fought you know because there's a thing called like uh, doing some practical work is the best way to teach you yourself so like even if he knows how to use his power this this time he was like uh, in the battlefield now i'm sure he got to understand a lot of like you know his quirks shortcomings and at the same time his quirks advantages which he'll use in the next you know in the next match against deku so i'm looking forward to that because like you know like this is like a tutorial for him this was a tutorial for him the next one will be like he can be he will be able to make better strategies and like use his quirk to the fullest uh, the next match and 
I have to say, like, they really used his power in an extremely uh, witty way. Like, I was thinking, like, this, uh, like, you know, his quirk, he can only fool the other team only once. You know, like, after the other team gets to know that, yeah, his quirks work like this, they won't be fooled. They won't, like, you know, talk or, or like, answer. And they won't fall for the same trick, like how he mimicked the voice. But turns out he was able to fool them a second time when like, you know, like their attention was all like uh, towards <clears throat> Denki. <laughs> like they really used it well, you know, like they're all all of their attention was towards Denki and the whole thing with who is like coming, you know, the whole um, masking the scent was kind of uh, like a distraction where everyone's attention was first uh, uh, directed towards who is the person. Uh, that is coming uh, and they were kind of guessing like is it Denki is it Suyu or is it uh, Shinso so then when they saw Denki they thought oh my god like Denki is here so we need to like make a shield or something because he can zap the whole place and like <clears throat> was, what was her name uh, Ibarra I think her name was she made this kind of like vine like shield and all and Denki used uh, the <clears throat> marker to and try to try to zap uh, I think his name was Shishio, the uh, beast guy, and uh, tried to zap him. But the other person, the uh, scales guy, he like you know his attention was went there quickly, and he was able to uh, pull it off him so that the zap does not uh, like get to him. They were all like preoccupied with all of these things. So that moment, Shinzo took the opportunity and mimicked you know um, whose voice did they did he mimic uh, the scales guy? I think. Yeah, uh, anyways, like he was able to mimic one of the teammates voice and Ibarra did not even like, you know, think about it and answered. And that's how she got tricked. And this is the second time that, that the uh, team member got tricked. And like, you know, like you need to like keep your, um, you know, uh, mind running in this, like uh, to use his quirk properly, because like you need to find the <coughs> gaps. You know the gaps and the time when they like lower their guard that's when you strike using shishio's mm, uh, like you know quirk like you you need to keep your eyes open you need to keep everything like you know like extremely attentive as soon as you find that gap like as soon as you find the time when they are like lowering their guard shishio uses his power and that's how you completely defeat the other team because once shishio uses his power and it like you know uh, works you know it's, it's the strongest power because imagine just like you know brainwashing someone in like in a matter of seconds like he or she won't be able to do anything it, it, it'll be completely like you know eliminated from the game so yeah and i'm really looking forward to one thing is like deku himself is pretty uh, smart you know so this will be like deku versus Shish, uh, like shinso will be more like uh you know like a physical battle as well but at the same time it will be a brain battle because like the like Shinso will try to trick Deku and Deku will like try to you know you know maneuver and like get past those tricks and <clears throat> I'm looking forward to that because it will be quite a fun uh, like match I'm guessing and yeah, I'm also looking forward to uh, the you know the class one B members. Like uh, we can uh, we met a few people here and we saw their <coughs> like quirks in this episode. Uh, in the next episode, I'm also guessing we'll see more of their quirks. And I'm I'm quite looking forward to seeing no more new powers. You know uh, what each uh, or each of them can do and all. And yeah, it will take a little bit time. I'm guessing to get uh, accustomed to the names and as at the same time uh, to the quirks uh, so uh, yeah like it will take a bit of time <clears throat> so yeah that was fun uh, <coughs> fun episode and another thing that uh, Shinzo was able to do is like use the bandage uh, the thing that uh, eraser head gave to him so I'm guessing he, he's going to use that like whenever like he gets into tricky situations like this you know when <coughs> the like Shishio that guy uh, he was cornered he cornered him and he used that kind of as a distraction you know and uh, like Shinzo uh, like Shishio was like a 
um, bad matchup against Shinso because Shishio is like so strong and everything, you know, and uh, so powerful and so like has a lot of like you know defensive power and all. So at the same time, Shinso only has his like voice, you know. So like it was a bad matchup, but and that, as I said, like Shinso needs a good team that can protect him and use him as a trump card. That's basically it. <clears throat> and he himself <clears throat> can also like you know uh, do some training and all and get a lot better physically and everything, which will also help. I'm sure about it. <clears throat> you know because like in situations like this where you need to fend for yourself, uh, like it will really help at that moment. So uh, yeah, and <clears throat> and <laughs> and in the end, like they were able to. <laughs> trick the music into their whole reverse psychology like you know where uh, Shishi, Shishio was like uh, cornering him and there's like this voice coming from his behind and saying that dodge like you know dodge and he was like oh no I'm not going to fall for that trick again I won't answer and <laughs> and then like it turns out that it really was him you know like it was a genuine like warning and it <laughs> Like the funny thing that is like it, it turned out like it was like a, you know the whole uh, the boy who cried wolf but like the funny thing is the boy who actually cried wolf here was uh, Shinso <laughs> but he mistook the original call for help as you know Shinso's uh, like calling for wolf wolf and it was actually a big disadvantage for him which like you know uh, because he did not listen to the warning, he lost. Like it's a weird thing. <laughs> like, usually the boy who cried wolf was the one who lost, you know, in the actual story. But in this uh, episode, the boy who cried wolf won because, you know, uh, the other person did not believe it. <laughs> believe the second time, not the second, the third time. Uh, the like, you know, the warning came. But yeah, that was really like, you know, <laughs> like big brain like big brain stuff happened this episode and yeah Shinso I'm sure Shinso will get better you know and yeah he definitely deserves in the like you know hero uh, like in, in the hero course because if his quirk is used properly he will be like pretty damn strong I have to say like his quirk is something really unique and like if used properly it can be very like you know lethal not lethal but very like powerful like it will really help to apprehend criminals you know like you know like there's this thing with like you cannot kill the criminals but at the same time you need to stop them so like this work will really help there because the criminals want to know who the hero is like who the person is you know and if they somehow like mess up that's it they'll get brainwashed and it's easy to capture them after that like if there's like a extremely strong villain uh, who can probably wipe out like you know a lot of uh, like powerful heroes if Shinso comes in and is able to trick him that's it that's it for the villain and like he can like apprehend a lot of like you know strong like people like this like his power is more like uh, what can I say it does not it does not depend on his strength the like you know and on, on the like uh, other person's strength even if the other person is like 10 times stronger than him, he can defeat him. And that's how it's like special. And this definitely deserves uh, like, you know, a place in the hero category and uh, the hero like, you know, course. I don't know why like they even like put him in the normal course. But I don't know, like. Maybe because he was unable to properly like, you know, use it in the examination. Like, yeah, that must be it, you know because yeah like, as far as i can remember the whole examination was like the you know the um, um the mechanical like you know those those robots thing and like robots can't answer your questions so he was unable to use his quirk properly i think at that moment and yeah i think that's what like you know kind of like made him like unable to go to the hero course so yeah it's a shame but I'm sure like he'll get his recognition after this because he 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 is like the main reason why they won even if it was like a team effort he was kind of the backbone of the whole like you know 
of the whole uh, training, combat training, and like they won't because of his power, kind of. But yeah, still, it's like a team effort. Like, if the, like all of them kind of helped and all. And but he was like a, had a lot more like you know uh, use. Like he he used his quirk a lot more, and <clears throat> it it was kind of like the backbone of the whole strategy. So yeah, so yeah, guys, that was it. That was this episode. This was episode number four, uh, four of My Hero Academia season five. So yeah, if you guys in, uh, enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed, comment down below. Anything you want to say or anything you want to share, I'll definitely check them out. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of My Hero Academia season five. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.